speculate on, on Tim Lashar as he uh, is going to get a call here, I think. Look just to the right of the quarterback's head. I think you'll see the Oklahoma player there he right there. You can see ticket number 77 into the line. Boy, does that change things. Now Oklahoma has to punt the well, ball. Lashar, the place kicker, his long was 32 yards, so they're going to go over the punt. Try to hit a knuckleball up there and kill that ball deep. Winchester. Walked on and won the job. It had a good ball game and one we saw earlier this year against Pittsburgh. He just pops it up. I think he hit it too hard, though. He did. It carries into the end zone. Well, it's kind of hard to be that controlled, I guess, when you're 18, 19 years old because he's all jacked up and caught up in the spirit of this thing, and he just kicked it too far. This is today's Chevrolet. Coors Light Beer. 1973, the first time ever a Barry Switzer coach team threw the football for over 200 yards, including this one for 40 from running back Joe Washington to Tinker Owens. OU roll for over 500 yards total offense, winning the ball game in 1973, 52 to 13. In the backfield, it is Rob Morshell and Jerome Johnson now. As Dodge comes back to throw it, the pressure's on, the pass is away, and it is incomplete. The intended receiver, Brent Duhon, trying to make a cut back to the inside, slipping and falling on the very wet field. If he had been able to make his cut and come back to the ball, who knows what might have happened. Anytime the ball is underthrown, like uh, Dodge threw that pass, the receiver has advantage. He can come back, and sometimes you see some big plates. Duhon couldn't ha didn't have the footing. There we Marshall, see. you got to remember in a tailback right now was the quarterback for Texas a year ago. Fred Akers may have him in there for two reasons. One, he may be a little quicker than Orr. Two, he does offer the option uh, pass out of the halfback position. He runs the football that time, and goodness knows, Tony Casillas and Brian uh, Bosworth made him pay for it. Casillas, you need to double team Casillas, number 92. Barry Switzer says the best nose guard they've had since. Uh, Lucius Selman, you can see him play off the block. He controls the block, a perfect nose guard play. Now he mo releases, separates Muzo, and makes the play with Bosworth helping. Him. Third, third down and nine for Texas from their 21. Dodge goes back to the pass. Trying to set up a screen. Can't do it, and it is almost intercepted. The ball hit an offensive lineman and should be a penalty, Keith, but they didn't, official didn't catch it. No re eligible receiver was anywhere near the ball. Well, Tiffany he threw the ball here under pressure, and maybe they're giving the benefit of the doubt that he had somebody beyond the line of scrimmage, but in trying to deliver the ball under pressure... You see it hits it the hits. lineman, number 78, Stewart, and nearly intercepted by the... It brings in Telchik to punt. First punt was 42 yards. Oklahoma was very impressive with their first drive. A sustained drive that was going for it on fourth down. When a penalty pushed them back, they had to punt. Texas has yet to make a first down. First punt by Telchik today was 42 yards. This one is angled off to the side, shorter and lower, and it gives Sherford a little bit of an opportunity. But uh, the pursuit downfield is pretty rough. And it's a 36-yard punt with virtually no return. This is Mr. Goodwrench. Did you know that your GM car's engine uses more air than gasoline? For every sip of gas, it takes 15 gulps of air. That's why a clean air filter helps keep you from wasting power or damaging your engine. So let Mr. Goodwrench check your oil, fuel, and air filters. Chances are you'll save gas and money, too. It's another of Mr. Goodwrench's good ways. To keep that great GM feeling with genuine GM parts. Life's not always easy, and no one said it's fair. Only one card provides peace of mind for nearly 80 million Americans. The Blue Cross and Blue Shield card. But you can find some peace of mind when you hold on to the one that cares. The, the Blue Cross and Blue Shield card. The Texas Longhorns, 3-0, ranked number one in the nation. The Oklahoma Sooners, 4-0, ranked number two in the nation. Their annual Donnybrook at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. There is no score. 
with 7.22 to play in the first quarter. And only 12 times since 1943 have one and two met in regular season play. And one of those involved these two teams in 1963 when Texas came out of the number two spot and went on to win the national championship with a 28 to 7 victory. Those are the other times that one and two have met in the course of the regular season. Derek Shepard trying to field a punt by Telchik of Texas was injured on the Texas side, but he's a tough customer. He got up and he walked away from it. And uh, Oklahoma will take over the football first down at their own 45. They started the first time uh, a little deeper on their side of the field, but then stalled down at the UT 31. It has been raining off and on all day and hard. But right now, just a little light sprinkle with Earl Johnson carrying the football and brought down by Ty Allert. And it's the first time this year in a game that Oklahoma has been able to get Spencer Tillman and Earl Johnson, their top running backs, into a game. Georgia Bulldogs continuing to win. And Kentucky having its troubles against the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. With Florida holding to a tenuous edge over Tennessee. Derek Shepard has come back into the game now, so obviously he's all right. As they set up out of the wishbone on second down and eight. And Bradley's in trouble. Bradley is brought down by Ty Allard, the strong side linebacker. The strong side linebacker lines up on the tight end side or the uh, sh uh, the overshifted side if there is one and Allard at 6'3", 225 pounds is hard to keep out of your backfield. Oh, he was a great football player in high school. His daddy was a coach for many, many years and is an athletic director. Number 48, he's an intense football player. Outstanding linebacker for Texas. South Carolina won a big one. Ball is just over the 40 where it is third down and close to 14. Bradley on a delay, hands off to Johnson. Johnson decks at the line of scrimmage. It brings on the Oklahoma kicking team. Bill Heathcock, at that time, a senior from Garland, Texas, made the stop for the Horns. And these two defensive teams, Frank, I think, are going to control this ball game. We may be in for the sort of a struggle we had last week up at Lincoln between Oklahoma State and Nebraska, where eventually somebody bobbled a little bit and somebody cashed the chip. Both teams believe in defense. They have quickness. They have size and they have that intensity level that you have to have to be outstanding on defense. Kelvin Epps, a track man, is the deep man for Texas. He's very, very fast. Winchester, the punt. Right through his hands. There's your problem. He slides down, and it's Texas ball at the Oklahoma 26. That's what I meant when I talked about opportunity and taking advantage of it. Keith, when, when I was coached by Bobby Dodd on a wet day and kicking that football, he'd come up and he'd say, Frank, be sure you catch it. Be sure you catch it. It's wet. The first thing you've got to do is catch the ball. He emphasized that. We worked on it. And, and uh, Westminster did not move over. He tried to catch it in his hand to the side, and that's a major mistake. Fundamental error in the kicking game for Austria. Texas is in business at the Oklahoma 26. Morshell ran the last series at the I-back for Texas. Now you've got uh, Anthony, Anthony Byerly is in at tailback, number 24. And Byerly has the ball. And Oklahoma has Byerly at the 25. Well, when you have a break history like this, normally the defense is going to come after you. They're going to blitz. They're going to do something extreme as we watch Freddie Akers and his son, number 12, signaling in the play. Danny Akers, who's the backup quarterback, eighth year in Texas. You can see his record winning his coach in the history of the Southwest Conference. Gain on that carry by Byerly was about a half a yard. Dodge rolls it out. Sets up and goes to the corner. His receiver falls down. And the Oklahoma man had it in his hands and then dropped it. Jim Rockford. So it's an incomplete forward pass. Once again, we see the receiver slip down when he could have possibly made a play. The quarterback, Dodge, you can see it's a bootleg. Dodge pulling out in front. You can see that Dodge fall, nearly falls. He regains his balance. He throws it, but no one's there but Oklahoma. Rockford, number two. He goes up, but he cannot control it. Incomplete. Now, in this situation, the defense comes out. Their job is to force a field goal attempt. That's a victory for them if they can. Yeah. 
Harry Orr. This into the short range. But Dodge goes deep. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Texas. Bill Boy Bryant. up in the clouds. The extra point kick by Jeff Ward is good. Penalty flag is clipped in the air. He's never missed an extra point. Let's see about the penalty call. A busted coverage. Dodge reads the defense, but Brown, number six, goes in the middle, man for man. Stanberry is, should have been, been covering Brown. You can see he goes out and up, and you can see how wide open he is. Now, Stanberry has him, but he releases him to Brown. Brown, number eight, should have been playing this ball. But Brown took the receiver over to the inside, took himself out of the play, opened up the pass for the touchdown. We'll be right back. No matter what kind of day I've had, my family's got a right to a good meal. We agree. That's why Kentucky Fried Chicken original recipe is made tender and juicy, the Colonel's special way. And that's not all. Yep. You've got a right to fresh coleslaw and buttermilk biscuits made from scratch. You've got a right to chicken done right. And the right to a night out of the kitchen. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. When you're the boss of a business with one computer and more than one person who needs it, you're a boss with a problem. The solution is Xenix, the multi-user system from Radio Shack. Xenix allows separate workstations to share the same information base and operate simultaneously. And as your business grows, you can add more terminals so that everyone's productive, even the boss. The sale price Xenix multi-user computer, only at Radio Shack Computer Centers. On ABC's Monday Night Football, Green Bay's high-scoring Dickie DeLofton tandem takes on John Elway in the 5-1 Denver Broncos. That's Monday, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. The Texas State Fair. Well, they're sort of crimping things today, but there was a huge crowd here yesterday. And it looks to me like all the parking lots are filled today. And right in the middle of it, some 75, 76,000 folks watching Oklahoma and Texas fight it out for number one, and the Horns have jumped out to a 7 0 lead. There's a penalty assessed against Oklahoma for running into the kicker. Five yard penalty, and so Ward kicks off from the 45. And it's taken by Buster Rhymes, and he gets some daylight and comes to the 33. Brought down by Tony Tillman. It was a fumble by Winchester, the Oklahoma punter. The ball went right through his hands at the 26, and Texas cashed it in on the, as the Oklahoma defense broke down. The streaks in this series have, have been dominant. Look at that. Oklahoma was dominant 48 to 57. Then Texas turned it around. And Oklahoma turned it around. And now Texas is on a roll over the last seven games. From, let's call it the 33 for the Sooners. First down. And Bradley comes down on the option. Flips outside. It's tough to make a cut. Couldn't do it. June James, number 62, the linebacker, just kept drifting out, and he made the tackle on Spencer Tillman. And here's Jim. Keith, let's quickly take a look at what's happening in the Big Ten. Illinois is leading Ohio State 24-0. They're early in the second quarter. There's been a Byers fumble on a kickoff. There have been three Trudeau touchdown passes. Same Ohio State secondary that got ripped by Jim Everett a week ago is being ripped by Jack Trudeau today. Let's go back to Keith. You have to flip a coin to get a champion out of that Big Ten. It's close this year. Second down and about 16. As Bradley whips the pass to the sidelines, and it's pulled down by Sewell, and Sewell tumbles on out of bounds up at the 34. So they'll be looking at third and long now. Tony's a great defensive tackle, number 99, is the best at his position in America. One man cannot keep him off the pass. You should use your center or back someone to help him. As soon as the offensive guard picket lets him go, 73 comes and also the fullback comes in, Johnson, and helps him. Three men on him, really. That's what it takes sometimes to keep a player like the great off of the pass. 
They come with Rhymes and Sewell now to the bottom of the picture on third down and eight. Bradley rolls it out, gets it away, pass here. Oh, great catch by Earl Johnson. A great effort by Johnson. The pass was overthrown, but he managed to tip it just enough and bring it down, and he is close to a first down. Texas linebackers put a lot of pressure on the passer. Number 62, James, is the linebacker. And uh, Bradley has to throw the ball going back, but look at that catch. One-handed. It's according to the spot. As to whether it's the first down, it's going to be very close. Had he been able to catch the ball and run with it, he would have gone a long, long way. First down. Here again, we see the big advantage that Oklahoma has this game with Johnson and Tillman keep in the ball game. Johnson rushed for 900 yards last year. Tillman over 1,000. They're back together in the same backfield for the first time this fall. Right now, though, it's interesting to note on this stat that uh, Oklahoma picked up 34 yards on the first eight rushing attempts. Over the last four attempts at running, they've lost 26, so they netted eight. That's the Texas defense at its best. Quick handoff for the uptime. Johnson, Earl Johnson, he may have a cracked kneecap and all of that, but he seems to have the old explosive power as he pops through there. One thing a fullback in the wishbone is going to get a lot of work. You can see what Earl did last year as a freshman. He missed two football games, half of another one, and still rushed for that many yards. But the fullback is going to get a lot of work, Keith. He is the kind of player that might get nothing for a while and then boom, go 80 on you. Detroit. Leading in the World Series now 3-1 to one after their 4-2 victory today over the Padres. Second down, six. Same call, same man, midfield. Well, the Texas defense has two big defensive tackles lined up over the offensive guards, and they are the heart and soul of this penetrating defense. They charge and read the blocks with a charge being far more important than the reading the blocks. They try to penetrate and make some bad things happen. It's the toughest defense, I think, to block in America. Most coaches will agree. It is third down and three, Oklahoma. With number one, Texas leading number two, Oklahoma, seven to nothing. As we go inside, two minutes to go in the first quarter, Danny Bradley rolling it. No problem. All the way back on the 36-yard line, James McKinney, a junior from Austin, defensive end, corralled it. McKinney only has one sack this season. Number 87 gets away from the block of Dillingham, number 59. And Bradley, really that's what we call a coverage sack because the receivers were covered. Bradley had no one to throw to. Mike Winchester in the punt. I bet you he tries to catch this one. He got it all right. And gets it out. Not a particularly good punt, though. Let's see about the roll. Shank. Shanked it out of bounds. So Winchester, having his problems on this wet day, gets 22 yards on the punt. And Texas has good field position. Little sharks, big sharks, shooting from the hip sharks. Night sharks, bright sharks, <coughs> boogie through the night sharks. There's an awful lot going on in video these days. And it's all going on at Sharp. Sheep sharks, sleek sharks, anything you see sharks. Sharp video. From sharp minds come sharp products. Hey, can't you go to four-wheel drive from inside? Not in this truck! Then get yourself into a Chevy S10 Blazer 4x4 and shift from freewheeling two-wheel drive to four-wheel high at any speed. No Ford can do that. I don't have to get out to lock the hubs. Chevy's Instatrack four-wheel drive system lets you do it all from inside. So I can stay dry. Chevy, I like the way you work. Nothing works like a Chevy truck. On CFA College Football, Heisman candidate Doug Flutie and Boston College collide with West Virginia. Or LSU battles Kentucky, plus BYU Air Force next Saturday on ABC. Not the kind of a day that Mike's going to want to remember, but it's just beginning. He's been averaging 41 yards for the season. Coming up on first down, Texas now at their own 42 with Morshell and Johnson lined up behind Todd Dodge. They give it to the fullback, Johnson. And Jerome is up with the 46. He picked up about four. Interesting about Johnson, the fullback. 
He's a senior. He's never lettered in Texas. Only carried the ball five times up until this time. But the regular fullback, or is playing most of the time at fullback because of the injury to Simmons, who had such a great game in this contest last season. Yeah, they've, a lot of people think if Texas had uh, Edwin Simmons healthy, it'd be Katie Barr at the door. It'd be awesome, but their offense already is awesome. 37 points a game without him. Call it second down, and it's more seven than six. Again, Johnson gets the call, and the fullback is caught and dragged down as he reaches the 49, and Tony Casillas, 270-pound junior out of Tulsa, is the man making the stop. The man that Casillas is playing on, Chilton, number 74, and number 69, the backup left guard for, uh, for uh, Texas, could not uh, hold him, and he pulls right off the backup guard being Blackmore. He's alternating starting. And the last second ticks off the first quarter clock here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. And after one period of play, it's Texas 7, Oklahoma nothing. Some things look hard, but once you know the secret, they're easy. It's easy. Some people think financing a new car is hard, but it isn't. It's easy. It's as easy as GMAC. With GMAC, buying or leasing a new GM car or truck is easy. Ask your GM dealer and see how easy it is. Financing a new car may seem hard, but once you know the secret... It's as easy as GMAC. It's easy. Give me a light. <laughs> Bud Light. <laughs> if you just ask for a light beer, you never know what you'll get. Give me a light. <laughs> Bud Light. <laughs> so if you want the less filling light beer with the first name and taste, don't just ask for a light beer. Hey, give me a light. Ask them to bring out wow. their best. Oh, uh, no, Bud Light. Bud Light. Because everything else is just a light. <laughs> it's a wild place. Nearly four hours. That's how long it took us to paint this room with a roller. Then we painted it in less than one hour with the new Wagner Power Roller. A living room that took nearly seven hours. The Wagner Power Roller finished in less than three. The Power Roller pumps paint straight from the can to the roller or to any of several optional accessories. Why waste your time painting a pan when you could be painting your walls instead? The Wagner Power Roller, the right tool for painting. A little girl was trapped. I had to save her. She made it. I didn't. I thought about my own little girl. Who'd protect her? It's coming around. Stevie boy, you live to tell about it. I got a second chance. To protect my own, as well as others. At Prudential, we know most of us don't get a second chance. Talk to a Prudential agent and get the peace of mind that comes with a piece of the rock. We're all safe now. Get a piece of the rock. Prudential Life Insurance. That is a big old cowboy welcoming everybody to the Texas State Fairgrounds and the numbers on this first quarter of play are a little misleading. Texas has only one first down. Right now the Longhorns third down and call it four with Michael Brown in the backfield and Dodge swings it out to Orr. Orr dives for the marker. Can't get there. They bring him down at the 49 and it brings up fourth down for Texas on the first play of the second quarter. You can see that Oklahoma's rushing is minus two. That's important because Oklahoma needs to have some success early. They only rushed for nine first downs last year against this Texas defense. So you can see that they've got real problems unless they can make the big play. Oklahoma court as defense has been bright also. It's very interesting though, Frank. They gained 34 on eight carries and now have lost 36 on seven. That's the Texas style. Throwing the losses, penetrating on virtually every play. Kick. That is Sonny Brown watching it roll and uh, he's killed it deep. What a bad, bad fundamental error by Oklahoma. He should have fair caught the ball at the 20-yard line. That was a... Sonny Brown, sophomore, let it go and Telchik nailed it down at the two-yard line. And next week we have three games for you on our presentation of CFA football on ABC. Boston College at West Virginia, LSU in Kentucky, and BYU Air Force. Three good ball games. Keith Brown just was a little bit shaky. Didn't want to come up and catch that ball. 
it was right in the middle of the crowd. You have extra protection now. The defensive man can get within two yards of you. Now Oklahoma's really in the hole. They're not even at the two. It's short of the two. Lydell Carr is in the lineup for the first time. They give it a two money. He pops out of there. Spencer Tillman is out of bounds. Up past the 25. Tony Griffin finally got him. And Tillman almost exploded out of there and ran the length of the field. Here's what a great run can do. There's nothing there. Oh, Texas linebacker Edwards hits him right there in the line of scrimmage. Number 63 weighs 260. Little Spencer Tillman playing his first game of the season had a pull muscle in the lineup for the first time. That could have been a flag, too. Yes. The tackle was well out of bounds. But it's first down Sooners. They've got breathing room at their 25. Trailing 7 0 to the Longhorn. And the handoff to Tillman again. He may not be the healthiest fellow in town, but he looks all right to me. He had a severe groin pull. Uh, Ty Allard. Linebacker for Texas involved in the play. A little misdirection. You can see him step to the right because the quarterback went in that direction. Now he comes back and fills the hole right there. Now he pulls back in and makes the tackle on field. 48, Ty Alvin. Tillman now, eight Alvin. carries and 47 yards. So Oklahoma is in the plus side of their rushing game early in the second quarter. This is Tillman again. And he's up to the 35, and he's got a first down. Oklahoma remains relatively impressive running the ball. Here's Jim. You've been told that SMU Baylor is final at 24-20. The man who succeeded Lance McElhenney as quarterback for SMU is Don King. Not this Don King. This one's a junior from Dallas. And he ran for a touchdown and threw a touchdown pass to Ron Morris in the last three minutes of the game to bring the Mustangs back from down 20 to 10 and give them another heart-stopping victory. They're now 34-2-1 in regular season since 1980. Now let's go back to Keith and Frank in Dallas. They play in two weeks down at Austin, SMU in Texas. Shames are out. A little short, huh? About an inch, Keith. About an inch for a first down, third down. Oklahoma has been trying to go for the first down. Nothing fancy. But the big play, to beat Texas, you have to make the big play. You have to go on the big plays. You cannot do it piecemeal, short yardage at a time. Raining again and raining quite hard. Bradley uses usually quarterback sneaks right here. He's got a gap. There's a gap in the middle of that four-man front of Texas. He might have enough room to get it. He does. Anytime on short yardage, if you can go over the uncovered offensive lineman, as Keith just pointed out, it's pretty much of a sense first down because you get a little bit of natural hole in the beginning and you follow the center for the yardage needed. That's a surprise score with two very fine offensive football teams. And look at Florida and Tennessee. Galen Hall, the interim coach, has done a great job. He's undefeated. Florida's got some heavyweights coming up now. Georgia, Auburn. Whoa, there'll be some good ones. Florida State plays Auburn tonight. First down from the 37. Bradley going down the line with it. Keeps it. He looked back to see where the trailer was, and the trailer was gone. Somebody had cut him down, Spencer Tillman, so Danny had to eat it. And he picks up about three. Well, Minnesota winning the third Holtz. game. Yeah, Lou Holtz won his third game. That's tremendous. Keith Jerry Gray made a tremendous play on that last. He was covering the receiver, gave up the receiver when he saw it wasn't a pass. He would look at Michigan State and came back and helped on the tackle. Just tremendous for the All-American Gray. 41-yard line. Second down and a long six. That's Jewel in motion as they break the bone, and Bradley coming this way. Well, when you look up and you see that you're running right between two great big old hunks in white, and you know full well that when you make the turn up field, there's going to be another one waiting for you, and sure enough, the strong safety, Stephen Braggs, was right there. Well, as we said earlier, Bradley is going to have a busy afternoon running the option play, throwing the ball, reading the defenses, using audibles. He is the key. He's done quite well so far. He's looking at third down and four. There he is, number one. 
Ball is on the 43. Drop back. Sideline. He's right up there, even with the marker, Steve Sewell. And I, you know what? I don't think they gave him the spot. They, they didn't. The official moved the ball back. He slid. It's going to be fourth down and probably an inch, or they're going to measure it. He didn't make it. And it's going to be within an inch. He slid on his rump for about six yards, and he just simply didn't get enough of a mark. Oklahoma is not going to take a chance here in the wet field. I believe if it was a dry day, you can see how wide open Sewell is. He has it. Now, the, look where the ball is, though. Now, he the, the body is, is upfield. Right on the line. It's very close. Very close. But Oklahoma is not going to take any chance. They believe in their defense. They can stop Texas. Why take a chance here with a wet ball? Well, right. I need a kick from Winchester, Frank. He yeah. hasn't hit one yet. That's better. Goes into the end zone. Couldn't get a bounce on it. His first two kicks were 31 and 22. And now into the win, Winchester hits one 53. That's more like it. Into winning. You bet. Then today, Chevrolet has a car for you. Cavalier. Come on in and you'll know. Turn it on. Let it go. It's at your command. Two liters of electronically fuel-injected power, front drive agility, and optional sports suspension. Cavalier, grab one. If this is today's Chevrolet, it's a winner. Drive today, Chevy. Live today, Chevy. Live it. Chevy. I like to save the big surprise for last. And turn. <laughs> NCR is making a personal computer. Uh-huh. Sharp graphics. Surprise. Uh-uh. I'll take it. Oh, can't you look surprised? I said I'll take it. I know you'll take it. I just wanted you to be surprised. But I know NCR. They practically computerized the banking business. Look, I'm writing a check. Oh, money isn't everything. Nobody's ever surprised. Well, maybe if you didn't tell people who made it. <laughs> a better computer. It's exactly what you'd expect from NCR. Rain coming down at the Cotton Bowl, and before the game today, I talked to Coach Barry Switzer about the impact of the weather. No, I, I've, I've always been the one said that when it hurts an option football team and helps a passing team somewhat because receivers can run their routes under control. The defensive back obviously doesn't know where the receiver's going to run their route and might lose his footing, and I'm concerned about that today, but uh, it hurts both teams. They were had a struggle themselves to get to the ballpark Keep because it. of the traffic and the water everywhere. The first down that Oklahoma made coming off the one yard line put the Texas back deep and saved them from probably another touchdown. Uh oh, Dodge fumbles the football, but he was down. He was down. He was down back at the 14. I'll give you an idea how wet it is. I mean, you can get some hydroplaning out there amongst these running backs. There's so much water on the field. Keith, yes, he called the receiver, uh, the quarterback down. Keith, he's running in this direction in the green. Remember we talked about in the AstroTurf, the green lays towards the press box, and he's running with it. It's like a downhill putt. When you try to cut in this direction, you have no footing whatsoever. Now let's see. If his knee is down while he has possession oh, of the down. ball, yes, really the, down. the arm at meeting the turf knocks the ball out. Good call by the referee. At the 14... We're at second down and 16, and this is Terry Orr carrying the senior from Abilene, and he bangs his way up beyond the 18. It'll be third down and about 12 with ABC's NFL Monday night game coming this next Monday night. The Denver Broncos, who are red hot in that western area against the Green Bay Packers out of the Central Division. John Elway in his second season. John and company doing very well. And the Denver defensive guys are just playing up a storm. Third long, probably a running down. Well, it didn't work. Texas not going to throw the ball on this far of the field on third and long. They are playing conservatively. Tennessee is to avoid losing with a wet ball and a wet field. A 7 nothing lead and a defense like they possess. The pressure grows as every minute goes by in this ball game on Messrs. Winchester for Oklahoma and John Telchik for Texas. They are the punters. First thing is Frank D. 
delineated a moment ago. First you. thing in a day like this, catch it. Then kick it. Look how well Caltech has put it for catch. And he burned Oh, oh, oh man, that is a Howard. All the way back to the 23. And Shepard is whipsawed at the 30. A 57-yard putt in a driving rainstorm and a 7-yard return. 7-0 Longhorns. The insulation is ready, and the time is now. It's all up to you to beat those high home heating and air conditioning costs. So get rolling. Add an extra layer of Owens Corning Pink Attic Blanket Insulation and score energy savings. If you act now, you'll get a free warm-up jacket with the emblem of your favorite NFL team. A great offer, only from Owens Corning. The enemy. Rain. A mere one-eighth inch can float your car off the road. Thus the rationale for Vector. Goodyear's unique all-season radio. So advanced, its crisscross tread actually pumps away water to help more tire and your car stay on the road. The Goodyear Vector. It simply performs like no other tire in the world. Look at it come right. That may be the most important extremity in this stadium, the foot of John Telchik, as he just bombed a punt 57 yards. And very little return, excellent coverage by the uh, special team of Texas. John Hagee was down there making a tremendous play. Sooners go to work at their 30 with Patrick Collins in the ball game for the first time at left halfback, replacing Spencer Tillman. Tillman can't play the whole day because he has not been engaged in game competition. Bradley throws a knuckleball up. There's a penalty flag downfield, and the Sooners have got a break. I believe it's on the offense, Keith. Really? I believe that Reeves pushed him off. No, he didn't either. Well, Buster's the one... Uh, I'm Ryan, I mean. Jumping up and down, but Bradley was just level. I mean, just clobbered as he released the ball. Yes, it was on the offensive receiver. Disregard the penalty... The ball is not catchable, therefore no pass interference. Way to go, John McClinic. I want to watch, uh, watch Bradley now. What happens to him? Well, the great number 99 is the premier defensive tackle in America. That's, Adam. That's Adams, number 96 there. Yes, he was from the right side. You can see that he throws Bradley. I told you before, Bradley is going to be the business player in this ball game. So there's no penalty on it. Second down and ten. Shepard is the wide man, the bottom of the picture. Danny Bradley whips it out very quickly. Pass caught by Patrick Collins, and Collins hits the chalk at the 33. Keith, I don't understand the rationale of wiping off pass defense if, even though the pass is not catchable, because if you can't get to the ball with a defensive man holding you certainly the pass is not catchable and that's somewhat what happened on that particular play i don't know how our rules committee came up with that they did and uh, i guess they had good rationale i've never seen it understood it Me in some sense i can understand the the good part of it the old bradley's got a problem and he looked upfield, he couldn't find a soul, and by the time he started to get his feet on the ground and start to move around, big Ralph Darnell was all over him. Senior out of Mesquite, number 94, and Oklahoma will go to the punch. Never, never, never get in long yardage against Texas. Why? Because they're so big and so strong, you can see them putting the pressure on Bradley. He wants to scramble, but the turf won't allow him. 94 comes in. Darnell. And the heat's on Winchester. Mike standing back inside his five. Handles it all right. Gets a low punt out. Has good carry, however. And it runs Kelvin Epps back to his 37. And they tackle him at the 38. Good kick. 45-yard punt that time by Mike Winchester with 7.44 to go in the first half. And number one, Texas leading number two, Oklahoma, 7-0.
There's a time in life for the young to say, I want something else, a different way. The town's the same, the people too. School is over, need something to do. The services have it, it'll really show. You'll see new places, you'll really grow in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Challenge, adventure, excitement too, a time to enjoy and see something new. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. You'll work hard, feel really free, serving your country for all to see in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Be part of a team, be friends forever, a part of the services you won't forget ever. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. It's a great place to start. Dan, something for your desk. Vice President. <laughs> you earned it. Today, Chevrolet has something for you, too. Discover Caprice Classic. Now it's here. Your reward. Just lean back. It's all yours. Caprice, now even better with electronic fuel injection standard, plus traditional full-size comfort and prestige you've earned. So this is today's Chevrolet. Welcome to the club. Drive today, Chevy. Live today, Chevy. Live it. Chevy. 1977, Fred Akers, in his first game against Barry Switzer and the Oklahoma Sooners, he used a hammer named Earl Campbell on his way to the Heisman Trophy that year. Campbell ran for 124 yards, and Texas beat Oklahoma 13-6. Indeed, this old series has produced some great games. And it's 7-0 right here with Morshell and Johnson in the backfield now for Texas as they go to work from their 39 and a reverse with Kelvin Epps, the track man, and the ball squirting around. Johnson covers it for Texas. Dodge was hit while the ball was in his hand, not protected. And uh, the ball is going to fall right on the ground, and it's very lucky that Johnson was right there waiting because he sees the play. You can see Johnson, number 80, excuse me, right there, and then number uh, 35 for Texas. Johnson which is also Jerome Johnson. He should have given it to Epps, Frank, because Epps had a 40 acres to run on. <laughs> Just believe I'd keep it up if I get it back. I wouldn't be tossing <laughs> around. Now it's long yardage. Let's see if Texas will go to the air. Only once have they thrown on yard, long yardage, and it was for a touchdown. Ball is inside the 31. Second down and 19. Dodd's going to put it up. Todd gets it away, loops it to the sidelines, and... Uh, it's out of bounds. I think the Oklahoma man, Oklahoma man, Andre Johnson, came down with it, but he was out of bounds. Oh, that was fine defensive play. Dodge shows what he does best, rolling out and throwing to the wide receiver. That ball is wet. You can see that it sails just a little bit. But right there, Johnson has great position, tries to pull it in, one foot, but he still is juggling the ball. He didn't have control of it. Now it's third and long again. Dodge is one out of five, 25 yards, but it was a big one. It put the seven points on the scoreboard in the first quarter. We've got 6.54 to play now in the second quarter. Dodd, same setup, stops a little shorter with it on a sprint this time and throws it down the middle, and it's incomplete. He had one man, Bill Boy Bryant, going, but Bryant had drawn two Sooners to his side. The, the penalty flag thrown back up at the 26. The CS number 92 is going to get double blocked. He's too good to let one man just stay there and block him. You can see that they move around. He's up on the guard. The back guard, you can see a beautiful double team to keep him off the pass. It's also holding. Well, I think that Oklahoma will refuse the penalty. Force the punt. A 10-yard holding penalty. On the offense, it's declined. It'll be fourth down. Why not back him up? Ken? I was going to say, Keith, with the wet field and no more passing ability that Texas has shown at all running ability so far, I believe I'd take that 10-yard. Well, it was fourth and 19 you take 10 more you got fourth and 29 and hope that they do throw it yeah you got a better chance to intercept and score from here than you have to catch the punt and move the length of the field in six and a half minutes against the texas longhorn defense which is recognized as the best in the country Teljic is in the punt this time Derek shepherd is deep for oklahoma boy that kick and kick whoa boy did he nail one and it's in the end zone Oh, that's 69-yard punt. On the fellow I know kick that far is Jim Lampley. Keith, we've been keeping you up to date on the progress of previously unbeaten Army. Today, midway the fourth quarter at Rutgers, Scott Spellman went down the sideline 78 yards in a tight ball game for an apparent Army touchdown. But officials ruled that Spellman had stepped out of bounds early in the run. Army failed to score on the drive. Rutgers went on to a 14-7 victory. Army's first loss and another great win for Dick Anderson at Rutgers. Back to you, Keith. 
Dick was a coach at, with, uh, at Penn State for many, many years on the Joe Paterno. Congratulations to him. Oklahoma goes to work now from the 20 with Earl Johnson and Spencer Tillman in the backfield. And Bradley keeps it, wants to give it away. But Texas had penetrated, and they were shielding the trailing man Tillman away from the ball. Bradley had to keep it, and he gets whacked right at the 20. You can, to me, it's. I guess I, I haven't seen anybody run an option play on Texas in eight years and be effective with it. Look at the now, in a wet day. What more can you want? A Texas defense like they possess and a kicker like Telsic. Oh, that's a tough combination on a wet field. That 69 yarder is as longest ever. I don't ever remember kicking one quite that far. Ah, uh, but you could dip it out of the two coach. 39 yards was my average. <laughs> Never return them though. Second down as Lydell Carr comes in at fullback. Bradley goes to the tight side of the field and gets around the corner for about three, maybe four, before he runs out of real estate. The one thing you could do was knock that thing dead, though. I tell you, hit the front of that ball and spin it back. Washington there at Stanford with that ball game. We were out there a couple of years ago and did a Washington-Stanford game, and Huskies were seemingly on their way to the Rose Bowl, and Stanford knocked them off, but I guess not this year. There's the big surprise they were talking about a while ago with the Illini kicking Ohio State sideways. And Alabama now out 6 nothing on two field goals over Penn State in the fourth quarter. Ray Perkins needs a win. It would make his life much more tolerable in Tuscaloosa. Well, you got a penalty flag there. I don't know if the Texas man started too soon. Bradley scrambling up to about the 29, but it looked like there was a white shirt across the neutral zone. Well, it's just a question whether he was drawn by the offensive lineman who was setting back the pass. We'll just have to wait and see. Chalmer Adams was the man, big junior out of Waco, and it's offside against the Hornets. Well, that'll put it third down in about a yard. Gives them a running situation. I know that if you're coaching against the Texas defense, and I keep saying it is respected more than any defense in America. It's a different concept as we look at some more scores. UCLA leading Washington State. You don't want to get long yards against Texas. Avoid it at all costs. Look at that great win for Air Force third in a row outside on the defense still be third down with 542 to go in the first half <laughs> Illinois now has posted a touch I mean Ohio State to make it 24 14 against Illinois. two tight ends a running offense for the wishbone he yeah. needs about a yard and a half doesn't he yep. yeah. about a yard and a half yep. Bobby go to kill me. Went to Carr. And I don't know if Carr got it. He did not get it. Um, that, well, it's the spot. Caught him where they spot. Yeah, he well, they've spotted it just over the 30. Well, that's the first down. The ball was kicked over the goal line. That's a big first down. Texas, Oklahoma has got to make some big play. They've got to throw the ball short and run with it. That's what Auburn did, Keith. They, Auburn completed 14 out of 27 passes. The only team has come close to 50%, but they made yardage rushing, and then they were able to hit some passes on running downs. Throwing against Texas on a passing down, you've got to be an expert, sophisticated passing team. An old thunderstorm sitting right out. And it's dark. Yonder. First downs, OU has seven, Texas only one. Their first down is good for a touchdown. Bradley pitches that ball out to Spencer Tillman. And Tillman is dropped down just over the line of scrimmage. John Hagee, a freshman, number 17, has come in here and played sensational football. He made three big hits, including that play. Uh, Greta Weitz will be in the New York City Marathon this year, defending her championship, the young lady from Norway. Sunday, October 28th, 10.30 Eastern Time. One of the spectaculars in sports anywhere in the world. You'll see it here on ABC. Second down and 10. Bradley going deep. Buster Rhines can't hold on. Number 17, Hagee, was back covering him, so the freshman makes another big play. He's 6'1", 180. Frankly, I think, Frank Royals, that if the ball had been thrown another 10 yards, Rhymes has the speed to run it down. Rhymes runs uh, 
nine four hundred number four you can see he's going on a post route Hay is covering him man for man he turns and runs when this is the way Texas plays pass defense running side by side or chasing you they don't play behind you the ball was underthrown as Keith mentioned Hagee wrestles the ball free and he goes incomplete and it's third down and ten option with Bradley outside the Tillman ball bounces away skittering toward the sidelines and Texas has it Jerry Gray covers it or you just don't pitch the ball on the option play when you harassed by the defense way out like this with the Tillman being only about three yards from him he doesn't have time now the play Texas plays it beautifully by springing it out right there you can see that the pack well Tillman just took his eyes off of it number 34 I don't think he would have made anything Gray number two was right there another break for Texas Oklahoma defense Rise to the well, game. last time Oklahoma gave it to him, they gave it to him on the 26, and Texas cashed it in. Now they've got it on the 26 again with four minutes to play. First half. Throw on first down. That's usually what Freddie does. Nope. Go to the eye back, Terry Orr, the big man, and he gets two yards to the 24. There's Jerry Gray, <laughs> All-American. He's the best at his position for two reasons. One, he's a center fielder. Number two, he's a tackler, a linebacker, led the team in tackles last year. And thirdly, an extra is, he's the leader of the football team. That defensive unit believed in him. He's the one that peps him up, calls the coverages, and dictates what everybody's to do. Just a great football player. Second down and eight for the Horns, leading 7-0. Oklahoma 24. Dodge gives it to Orr. Or is caught and dragged down by number 50, Dante Jones, a redshirt freshman from Dallas. Oh, there's one that caught my eye in the Pittsburgh game. Dante Jones, a freshman, 6'2", 220. Green Bay Packers and the Denver Broncos coming up next Monday night at 9 Eastern time here on ABC. Danny Reeves, the coach of the Denver Broncos, who coached for many, many years with Tom Landry, has the Broncos going. Their Full speed. Their defensive unit has just really been something. Third and long. Dodge with a lot of time. Now goes short with it. Bryant slipped down. He, number 80 was the target. He slipped down trying to make his cut. Dodge had nobody to throw to. Tried to dump it to Orr, and Orr wasn't anywhere near Terry, so it brings up the fourth down. We'll see it again. Bryant, number... 80 who caught the first touchdown pass going down and out watch his feet as he tries to cut towards the press box it's just like running or putting downhill as I've said with the green the feet go right out from under. Jeff Ward is in for a field goal from 40 yards he's one out of four this year 15 out of 16 last year as a freshman out of foot good so at 2.34 to play in the first half, the top-ranked Texas Longhorns have moved out to a 10 to nothing lead over number two Oklahoma. What would you call a zenith that's ready now for TV stereo sound? Smart! With a remote that lets you switch from VCR to computer to cable to games with one easy touch. Smart! Plus the new Zenith Chroma Color Contrast Picture 2 for superb color. Smart. The Smart Sense. Advanced System 3 from Zenith. Designed with Zenith computer technology. When you want everything. Smart. Bob, we're in the lobby. Hey, listen, we'll meet you out front in five minutes. Eight o'clock? I asked for a seven o'clock wake-up call. What's wrong with this place? Good morning, Nick. Say Nick on the big 96. Five minutes past the hour, and if you had to be at work at eight o'clock, you're late! Ow. A simple thing like a wake-up call. <laughs> Thanks, I'm already up. Next time, Ramada, where they know how to take care of business. There's no event like it. From start to finish, over 18,000 improving greater bikes and more in the grueling New York City Marathon, October 28th on ABC. Hard rain coming down again, and a lot of eyebrows being moved around by umbrellas down in that crowd 
As Texas leads by a score of 10 to nothing, Buster Rhymes and Patrick Collins now will be deep to receive the Texas kick, and it goes skittering on the ground. Picked up cleanly, however, by Buster Rhymes. And Rhymes, a former running back, does a good piece of running here to get himself out to about the 28 where the Sooners will go to work. It's been a long time, Frank, since I've had to empty my shoes, but walking from the parking <laughs> lot all the way around the Cotton Bowl to get into place this morning. I've you should have come early like I did. I got here before the rain. <laughs> <coughs> I couldn't. It took me an hour and a half to get here. Crowds are just tremendous on the, on the freeway. Oklahoma averaging 233 yards per game rushing coming into this ball game in their previous four games. They have 34 so far today. Collins and Johnson along with Sewell in the backfield. And Bradley, the quarterback, going down the line with it. Texas strings him out. Ty Allert runs him down and wraps him at the 25. Number 48 makes the tackle. When you have linebackers that run like fullbacks, why shouldn't you have a great defense? Ty Allert, number 48, just plays the play down the line, strings it out, waits for the quarterback to come to him. And you see that he can run just as fast as Bradley can. He's right there on top of him, makes the play. Once again, Texas defense showing them how brilliant they are, how they play the option play. It's just unbelievable, successful, and there is the ring. It's like somebody turned over a big bucket. Second down, 13. Bradley back. And he whips it to the sidelines. And the legs are taken from under the intended receiver, Sewell, by John Hagee. I thought that might have been interference. Well, the rule is that he has to keep his hands or body off of the receiver until he's touched the ball. The judgment of the official was that the receiver had touched the ball by the time Hagee had number 17 makes the play. Let's see if we can judge from here. Mm -hmm. Very close. Official right there. Split crew working this ball game. Three officials from the big eight, three from the Southwest Conference. And it's third down and still about 13. Watch out, Danny Bradley. Runs the option. Yeah. Patrick Collins can't make the cut. Here we see the cut. The thing that we talked about earlier, the disadvantage of the wishbone on a wet field, having to turn very quickly, just impossible running this direction with the grain of the AstroTurf. Well, you had that, and that's what we have at halftime. We had that at Arkansas before you took it out, where one side of the field was like uh, sliding around on graphite, and the other side, uh, you <laughs> could make your cuts all right. That's exactly what happened. Oklahoma's got to be careful with this punt. Catch the ball is what he's told him before he went out there. They're using that ball to him. Shanked oh, he didn't get it. Shanked it. Well, he had a little trouble getting a handle on it. A little trouble getting a hold of the ball with 51 seconds to play. Texas back in business. At the University of Texas at Austin, there is intellectual excitement and a sense of great enterprise. There is a shared conviction that what we are doing is important to the future of our society and that in this decade, Texas is the place to be. To be a part of the bright now diamond called the University of Texas was an allure. I Come back to live action at the Cotton Bowl, Jerome Johnson carries on the first down play for Texas. The ball marked just inside the Oklahoma 45, and he didn't gain much at all. That was a 21-yard punt by Winchester. And timeout now called by Texas with 37 seconds to go in the first half. Now that we've seen the UT campus in Austin, let's go to Norman. Pride, tradition, school spirit, it's a winning combination at the University of Oklahoma, on the football field and especially in the classroom. Our goal is to build an academic institution of truly great national distinction. That can't be done overnight, but we've come a long way, and we're in business for the ages. Boston College at West Virginia. Boston College playing Temple today. LSU and Kentucky in the southeastern part of the country and out west, Brigham Young and Air Force. 
Keep Austin it. College undefeated in all three weeks before they play today. Those three teams on the left have got some passing attack. And three Ooh. great quarterbacks. Oh, not saying the other teams don't, but those three on the left can throw the football. Rickersham at LSU. Bosco and Flutie. 37 seconds to go in the first half. Texas trying to wiggle it down there and get some more. Todd Dodge goes to the air. There's a penalty flag thrown and intercepted by Oklahoma at the 26-yard line. Stepping in front of the pass is Jim Rockford, the right cornerback. Let's see about the penalty flag back up field. Could be holding against Texas. It is. Oklahoma obviously will take the football. Casillas, number 92, seems to be the man that was being held. We have a 10 yard. You can see penalty. number 74 is using his hands, Chilton, as he goes to his side, and United's got his hands all over him. Well, that's, that's illegal. But Oklahoma intercepted the football just beyond their 26, and the Sooners, with 31 seconds to play in the first half, now will try to do something. Last year, the Texas defense shut down the Oklahoma offense like it hasn't been stopped in years. Well, less than 200 yards. Let me tell you this. So far in this first half, Oklahoma is averaging less than a yard per rush. 0.06 or, or 0.6. East and west on wet field won't get it done, but that's their game plan, and it's just too bad it quit. That's Earl Johnson carrying. I don't, you're not going to beat a lot of folks when you're gaining 24 inches per run. <laughs> no, you got to go. Texas, you have to get in big chunks. It's either feast or famine. The Texas team either wins it big or on each play, or you win it big. And if you don't win some big plays, you're not going to beat it, as they're going to let the clock run out. Oklahoma not spending its time out, so we're just going to let it run out and go to the clubhouse. And Try to cinch things up with a Longhorns leading by a score of 10 to nothing at halftime. And now all decked out in the Southwestern to talk to Coach Fred Akers. Here is Tim Brent. All right, Keith, I'm with Coach right now. And Coach, the defense shut them down. And you capitalized on the mistakes. But the biggest thing I would have to say right now is Telchick's kicking and Ward's field goal kicking game. Well, when we came into this ball game, we knew it was going to be a tough defensive day. And we're going to count on our kicking. Uh, we were able to take advantage of the one big mistake they made in the kicking game and scored. Uh, that's a, that's all there's been. Great defense. Let's look at the other side now, Fred, and play devil's advocate for a second. Now, bad weather like this, you think ball controls the key. You guys don't have any first downs other than the touchdown. That's right, and they're entrenched uh, along that front. Ball handling is a little suspect, and we're going to have to go right at them. We've got to get more punching it out running. We can't just keep winging it. Before you go, let me ask you this. Now, this is an old carpet, 1976. You said the footing is atrocious. Do you make them all go to rain cleats now, the longer cleats? What they ought to do is go to super turf. All right, Fred, thank you very much. All right. Well, it didn't answer the question, but it sounds good to me. We'll be back with today's halftime activities after this message and a word from our local stations. I see you enjoy the finer things in life. Why, yes. Then you'll enjoy today's Chevrolet. Celebrity Euro Sport. Come on in, get the feel. Enjoyment waits at the wheel as the road comes alive. Special sport suspension, Euro styling. Available new multi-port fuel injected V6 power. Celebrity Euro Sport. If this is today's Chevrolet, enjoy. Drive today, Chevy. Live today, Chevy. Live it. Chevy. Tomorrow on Ripley's, an exciting new hope for the sightless. Plus, a jet age art form, believe it or not, their in laws. She's my sister in law. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Outlaws. Everyone's turning for Hardcastle and McCormick. Then. Gabe is here. The pain of being apart. You hurt me. The fear of being too close. One night is all I can handle right now. Single bars, single women. All starting tomorrow at 7, 6 Central. The St. David's Emergency Department, open 24 hours. Move him into the crash room, give him another bowl of lidocaine and a nitroglycerin. For major or minor problems, personal care from dedicated professionals. Let's go ahead and start a lidocaine drip at 2 milligrams a minute. Do an EKG. Emergency trained physicians or your own doctor. Thanks. I'll go talk to the family. He looks good. You can go in and see him now. St. David's Emergency Department. In the beginning, choosing the right bank didn't seem that important. 
You just wrote the orders. Twelve cases. You got them right here. But as your business grew, so did the complexity. Sixty cases. Let me check the computer. And while you were out growing, maybe you outgrew your old bank's financing ability. 120 cases? Not until we get the money for that new warehouse. Now's the time to talk to First City, because even if you didn't use us then, you could sure use us now. First City, reaching further, doing more. Action News Evening Report. We've got the people, we've got the news. The Prudential Halftime Report is being sponsored by Prudential. For life, health, auto, home, get a piece of the rock. Prudential Insurance. Again, we'll be here to bring you scores and highlights throughout halftime, starting with the World Series. In the fourth game of the World Series today in Detroit, the Tigers matched up against San Diego, Jack Morris against Eric Shaw, and once again, Shaw had trouble with the long ball as he has throughout postseason. First inning, Lou Whitaker got on base on what was called an error at second base by Alan Wiggins as his throw pulled Garvey off the bag. Moments later, Shaw delivered a fastball to Alan Trammell, and Trammell put it in the upper deck. The left field seats, well, actually it went into the lower deck in Tiger Stadium, but good enough to give the Tigers a 2-0 first inning lead, one of the things which has characterized them throughout postseason, the early inning explosiveness, which gives their pitchers a chance to pitch relaxed. Jack Morris did as he threw a minimum of pitches throughout the ball game, 66 strikes, only 23 balls. One of the strikes, however, was deposited into the right field seats in the top of the second inning by Terry Kennedy, and that narrowed the Tiger lead at the time to 2-1. to one. It was the only severe blemish on Morris's record all day, though, and in the bottom of the third, with Whitaker again on base, Trammell again delivered against Shaw, the seventh home run Eric Shaw has surrendered in three postseason pitching appearances. That one made it 4-1 to one Tigers. Morris went on to an easy 4-2 to two victory, his third consecutive win in postseason, and the Tigers now with a 3-1 lead in the World Series need only one more win to wrap it up. So that we can bring you a look at both the Texas and Oklahoma bands, we will have to be as selective and rapid as possible with our scores. So right now, third-ranked Washington is at Stanford, and the Huskies took an early lead in that ball game. Right now, Washington still leading in the ball game, 27-3 at halftime. Wyoming at fifth-ranked Brigham Young University, and BYU is leading only 21-20 at halftime. 33-23, Nebraska beat Missouri today. Mark Munford, a linebacker, 16 tackles, two interceptions, one of them a 57-yard touchdown return. SMU survived a Baylor threat, two touchdowns in the last three minutes to win it, 24-20. Ohio State fell behind Illinois, 24 nothing early. It's now 24-21 at halftime. West Virginia beat Syracuse only the second time in eight years and the Mountaineers are 5-1 and one as they get ready for BC and Penn State. Georgia up, held off a Mississippi upset threat and beat Mississippi 18-12 in Athens. Kentucky at Mississippi State. Jerry Claiborne's team still unbeaten as they beat the Maroons 17-13 today. Florida making a nice comeback under Galen Hall. 43 to 30 winners over Tennessee at Tennessee. Two Florida rushers over 100 yards in the game. Alabama, and Ray Perkins really needed this one, a 6-0 victory, a shutout in Tuscaloosa of Penn State. And that was a victory, as I mentioned, that Perkins really desperately needed. South Carolina beat Pittsburgh today, 45-21. South Carolina still unbeaten under Joe Morrison. Their best start since 1928. So we will be back with a little bit more in the way of scores and a comment from Bino and a great feature. Right now, we'll take you back for the Texas Band. With our score at halftime, Texas Longhorns 10 over the number two team in the country, Oklahoma, nothing. We now join the University of Texas Band. Dr. Glenn Richter, director. Guys. Yellow Rose attack.
the University of Texas. Longhorn Band, Dr. Richter conducting at halftime with a 10-0 lead for the Texas football team. The rain continues to come, go away briefly, and then come again.